This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoDaddy, Squarespace, and CES Chris. Hey guys, welcome to this episode live of Hack 5 from CES. And we are here in this, you know, we, we, we were kind of commenting yesterday on how we were excited to be over there. I'm even more stoked, NBC Universal, the big stage. This I love it. This is amazing. Yeah. I've always wanted to be on a big stage so, like Gotta this. thank them profusely because NBC has been hooking us up along with Revision 3 and we yes. are stoked to be here. CES 2009. My voice, I have still like 50% of it. Yeah, a little so bit after that's last good. night. Well, last night we uh, we turned in early. We went to bed about 10 o'clock. Uh, didn't drink any yeah. li uh, anything at all. Yeah. Just, just Ooh, so that we can be refreshed to bring you the, the show yes. today. Exactly. Because that's just how responsible we are. Exactly. That's what you need to do when you're in your 20s. Basically, like we did yesterday, uh, for those of you who watched, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the greatest products that we found. Yes. Uh, we have found some, some neat toys, yeah. some neat gadgets, the widgets, the the little nifty uh, gizmos the that have been making things. us super excited. Yeah. Uh, and I think we've got a great lineup today, so why yeah, don't do. you go ahead and start us off? Because we're just gonna do like Thanksgiving style, just like bam, pass the turkey, give me some USB, what's going on? All right, the All right. so I was walking through the South Hall and I came across Paw Posh. Okay. Company we all know and love. And what we actually uh, found was they came out with their Paw Posh HD PVR and what this little box does is it will take HD from your cable, your satellite sources, right. and it will actually record high definition content and it actually will take it and put it in H.264 so that you can then edit it. What? Okay, so and that's, that's, that's awesome. gonna be super happy for consoles as well because H.264 right. yes. seems to be, you know, the, uh, the pretty much standard across what, your PS3, your, uh, your Xbox 360, yeah, I mean, you know, Hall Podge has been making, you know, these products for, you know, a really long time. And this is really the first one that they've come out with that isn't, it's not a tuner. It's just a capture box and will allow you to take that footage and bring it in. How do we interface with it? Uh, USB. And it's oh, got okay. optical and uh, it includes an, a, bun uh, a bunch of award-winning software that uh, the guys have uh, have developed and it So do I, do I operate it with the remote? Does it get on my network? It's Does got, it have a web it's browser? Not, it's not a remote, Caesar? it's just, you. Or it's not on the network, it, you've got a remote. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, it's So you're watching the tube, you see something box. and bam. It's an interface box. Great. So in okay. to uh, the computer. And then, and then it comes out. And then H.264. Nice. So, so it's got its own internal storage or a pop mass storage? Um, you know, I don't believe so. Uh, it's just uh, a box that actually takes it and puts it in your computer. Moving on. Well, okay, I ran across this little guy and the first time I saw him, I thought he must have been like a digital camera or a webcam or something like that. He's a projector. <laughs> a little mini micro projector by Nextar. It's amazing. Honey, uh, I shrunk the projector. Yes, honey, I shrunk the projector. He fits in the palm of your hand. He's super, super small. And he can do images up to 20 inches and they can do 640 by 480. So you're not going to be having like an office meeting, you know, with this with Probably this not. Guy, I mean, he only lasts for two hours, okay. the battery life. So it's not, it's not like super long for anything like that. I wonder if okay. you could and like, light. I wonder if you yeah, could take really that yeah. and I, and like project it onto like the back seat of like your airplane, like in front, the seat in front of you. Oh, that'd be nice. So, yeah. So you won't have to pay six dollars for that movie. Exactly. Micro <laughs> SD. I like it already. Yes, yeah. it's got micro SD. I'm it just has a fan USB. Of it. it has AV inputs. Um, it's MP4 compatible, which is pretty cool. Oh, great! Because... So you can put your MPEG-4 files yes. on here, and then so you don't even need to bring a laptop. You just export out your keynote onto an MPEG-4 file, and then bam, you just take it to your meeting. I mean, this yeah. is really lightweight. I like yeah, it. It's very uh, cool. It looks. I am imagining this is quite expensive. It's. SRP two ninety nine, but I heard it might be a little bit less. Yeah, yeah. well, for two ninety nine, you can get. That's that's about your entry level for your your standard corporate like right. you know board meeting right. projector. Right, but I mean your, this is this is so you don't have to. I mean, if you've got your you know uh, a standard you know a iPod or anything like that, the problem is you have, you know, uh, a tiny little screen. Okay, twenty inches is a good, that big. Yeah, that's like you know, monitor size. That's. The, yeah, I mean, well, 20-inch monitor. It's yeah. a good You'd size. rather watch your movie on a 20-inch monitor than... 
or you know you can take it on the screen. plane with you and say like you got you know you don't want to watch the in-flight movie you just kind of lean back <laughs> obviously not in uh, on American Airlines but you lean back and you just project it right onto the ceiling how's that right so, or the seat back in front of you or the stewardess. Exactly. He's cute and he comes with all the things that you need. A little stand, he comes with a little tripod, everything like that. Ooh, all tripods. your cables. So he's good to go. Lock on. Or you can get Chris to be your human tripod key, and just, <laughs> you know, carry your cameras because somebody didn't pack tripods, but whatever. <laughs> it's all right. We need on tripods. You. Okay. What's going on with I, I got kind of a silly one here. Uh, this one's a lot of fun. It is made by, um, by Liquid Image and this is. What is that? This is a, uh, <laughs> I'm going to just Goggles? go ahead and put it on because it looks so much fun. Yeah, look at this. All right. You got that? Uh -huh. I am. Uh, put, put your, you got to put your nose. Right, right. It's not even on right. Yeah. Am I, am I not wearing it right? You got to put your nose <laughs> oh, in Oh, I got to put my nose in there. Okay. There you go. Like, yes. <laughs> well, how can you dive without your nose uh, This your is the Scuba Series HD 320. It is a scuba na <laughs> mask uh, that records That's HD awesome. video. We have a camera up here in the brow and control is over here on the right side and I can record uh, HT at 720p. Um, For how long? Uh, well, it takes micro SD. Okay. So I think, so it, I, I think it's got 60, yeah, it's got 64 yeah. megs internal. Okay. So not gonna get you much on the HD. So definitely get an SD I card. Can't yeah, yeah, right? Something. And it gets better. Check this out, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah? Did I, get, did I get both on? That's awesome. Uh, okay, oh, no, no, hang on. Okay, okay. so Jesus. now we're like, we're like getting on, now we got like emergency <laughs> mode, right? Check this. What are you doing? I'm, I'm, that should be blinking. No, you're not blinking. No, you're not. I'm not blinking. Hang on. There you go. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? All right, I'm, I'm turn probably off. You're going to give somebody a seizure. out the uh, cameras <laughs> there. All right. All right. So anyway, <laughs> it looks That's pretty awesome. easy enough to use. What happens when you um, when you press these buttons up here, it actually, because, I mean, you're, you're, you're diving. You don't have, like, a heads-up display right. or anything. How do you know you're recording? How do you know you took the picture? Uh, real quick, I'm going to just show. So I press this. And it's probably going to be really difficult to show up here, but uh, is there a what light happens? Or something? Yes. So when the light is red, uh, you've taken a picture, and then it blinks, right? Uh, and then when you're recording video, you switch it over video mode. It's blue. It blinks when you record the video. Um, cool. So wow. yeah, you know, I mean, I, it's it's a cool thing for somebody that is actually going to use it. Yeah. Well, okay. Here's here's the way I really feel about this, right? Um, I'm trying to figure out how practical it is, right? Okay, they start at, there's, this is the HD model. Right. Uh, they start at $100 for the standard definition, and they go up from there. Uh, Spec-wise, it, it, the um, ISO is only 100, 200. Um, it's uh, f2.8, I'm sorry, I get really geeky here, but for the, for the people that care, f2.8, and, 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 and it's only a one, well, actually, it's a, uh, it's a one, two seconds of an inch CCD. So it's actually, you know, not bad size, the CCD. Right. I mean, uh, some of the cameras that we've been recording here are, are, hell, sixth inch. Right. Um, it's all right. I mean, it's comfortable. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a scuba diver. I mean, <laughs> but if I were, I would be wearing one yeah. of those, taking my videos. What I figure is, on the HD one, it's a little pricey. And I'm like, if you're really, <laughs> like, I mean, I understand the convenience. If you're, That's like, swimming cool. around, you don't want to hold a camera. But I don't know. I yeah. I would imagine if I was, let's see, this is the one that, that can go, uh, what is it, like, uh, 100 meters, something like that. Yeah. This is like Navy SEAL reconnaissance right. Right. operations here. Yeah. You know, cut some underwater uh, internet tubes and, and get your uh, packet sniffing <laughs> on like the NSA. Exactly. That's All cool. right, so I've got uh, a product <laughs> that I'm really stoked about. Um, and you might, you might ask yourself, well, why? Oh, yeah, Matt went crazy when we I, found this. I, I like walked by and I told myself, I'm like, did I just see what I thought I saw? I think that's a, like, a Mac with like Mac notebook with two displays, external displays running on it. Yep. At work, I have two 24-inch displays that I actually want to use, okay? But can't because of the Mac limitation. Enter right. the Triton C2 Extreme. Okay. Okay. This little guy will actually take a USB connection to your computer and will then pipe video out of this external DVI at a resolution of up to 1920 by 1200, mm -hmm. okay? Um, wow. I can now use both of my 24 inch monitors. Aww. So I now have my Mac 20, my right. uh, 15 inch Mac, a 24 You've and a 24. You've basically got a USB video card now. Yes. Okay, so I'm assuming you're probably not gonna be getting your crisis on. You can. It's you can? just another, I mean, the, the, the demonstration. Yeah, there's bandwidth to do the crisis, really? Like the, the video games and whatnot? Okay, real quick, yeah. this guy, 
yeah. you could hook five of these up to a single computer and have six displays running at because, 16 by because 12. You, oh, God. Yeah, because you, can play because your you really just want to crash a USB bus. I mean, seriously, how much bandwidth? Do you really think that you can? I mean, we gotta, we're going to have to get... Well, let's get five That's in and awesome. see, because I would love to do like <laughs> a wall I told Paul that I could deal. finally build his video yeah, wall well, for him. Paul's been asking us for this damn <gasps> video wall for the longest time. You've got a drink if you're following along at home anytime we mention Paul and bitch about him. Uh, when he can't say anything because yeah. he's behind the camera. So anyway, Definitely. drink at home, but, but yes. But Triton uh, Technologies, and I am, as soon as we get back from CES, if uh, uh, Aaron's over there, if he doesn't see me like slip this in my pocket, <laughs> yeah. I'll have to go buy one. <laughs> uh, uh, he caught me. All right, All right. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Very neat. That's cool. Um, give me an idea of the price. Is it out? What's the, the deal? Uh, they're both out, um, and they, they range in price really from anywhere from like ninety nine dollars to you know two hundred bucks, uh, depending on the the different. They have like docking stations and you know all kind of stuff. So if you go to the website Triton Technologies, it, you find exactly what you want. So. All right, Darren's ultimate word on it: cool. Nito Max. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nito Max. Nito Max. All right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so Shannon, you've got some weird ergonomic toys here that are uh, totally baffling the mind. Yes, I do. Uh, it's not a keyboard. No. But it goes in front of one. And it's not exactly a mouse. It's called the Roller Mouse Pro. Mm -hmm. It's brand, brand new. I mean, it was like the best product of the year with the ergonomics convention this year. Because it's good for people have that have... an entire convention for that? Yes. Hey, they've got dentist convention. I mean, they, they got an everything. We go to hacker cons. Come on. They have this convention. And yeah, it's really, really good for anybody who has like carpal tunnel or arthritis, anything wrong with their wrists. Oh, I've seen one of these yes. before. So this is just a wrist rest for your keyboard. Not exactly. So it's it's a mouse, Okay. basically. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna have your keyboard up here, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of having to reach over and clutch your mouse oh. every time and get your hand all tired because you have to do that back and forth, you're gonna just be able to reach down and start moving this up and down, up and down. sideways, diagonal. Left, right. It's your mouse. This bar right here is your mouse. And these are your left click, right click, and mm -hmm. your middle, and your scroll. Neat. And the cool thing about this is ambidextrous. So yeah, if you're a lefty or a matter. righty, it doesn't right. matter. If one hand gets tired, you can move to the, your left hand. Wow. It, it wouldn't be such a great thing for a gamer, so No, I can't imagine but, trying to get my frag on with that. I haven't seen one as nice as this. I mean, there's, you know, it's some really off-brand. Nice Excuse me. Uh, there's some off-brand like Office Max and Staples ones, but I've seen you know uh, people use them with great precision. Mm -hmm. You know, and you just go through, and they, it's it, like using a mouse to us is you th you know so you'll, this you'll is rest second it nature to them. Right here. Mm -hmm. This is oh, like okay. your palm down oh, here. Oh, so I'm like I'm typing it. and I'm just like oh with like my thumbs or whatnot, and then I'm like spacebar, exactly. jump, and exactly. then like yeah. look around and, and shoot. No, yeah. I mean, so it's good stuff. <laughs> very simple to use. It's just a very cool project. Uh -huh. product. I think it was neat. Uh, you know, this is the reason why you guys always get on me about this. I'm like, oh, dude, no, you just alt space and then C, and then yes. you like alt tab and then control shift I escape and keyboard shortcuts control K anymore w. That you always complain you know, about. I am like, well, you know why? <laughs> the reason being is, is I'm I'm so tired of the, you know, I got my keyboard here and then I'm like mouse, yeah. mouse, and I'm like whatever. Yeah. I just need to like move around, explore, move yeah. around, beg, and just. I know it's it's such a pain in the ass going uh, from your mouse. I way can over imagine here that might have a learning curve. Yeah. Yeah. Any idea on price? Uh, I think it's a little bit over a hundred bucks for this. Okay. So it's pretty but, cheap. But I mean, if it's going to save you a trip to the hospital. Yeah, and it, it saves you like so many hospital bills. So <laughs> hey, go with it. Or you could move to Canada and get that free stuff. Right. Uh, so I'm assuming this is like Big Brother because you brought. Yeah, Big Brother and Little Brother. Uh huh. These are the contour mouse. Okay. Mice. Mice. They're made by the same people. They're USB plug and play. You just plug them in and start using them. Now, does that one feel a little big, or is it yeah. pretty comfortable on you? It's a little big. A little yeah. big? I don't like it. See, the way that they do this is they measure your hand from the tip of your middle finger all the way down, and they figure out what size you need to use for either your left hand or your right hand. Well, what's nice, though, you notice you that the... You kill somebody with this. Well, here, <laughs> Matt, what's really interesting, the laser, you notice the placement? A little yeah. higher than standard, right? A little bit. So, so, you can, instead of moving your whole hand, I don't know if that's good or bad, actually. Yes. No. No, you no barely have to move this at all. All right. You don't? Yeah, you barely have to move it at okay. all. And you can change oh. your <laughs> my specs if you want to on your computer for this my mouse. Yeah. Sounds good. What's uh, that uh, what's a beautiful little goodie over there? This uh, and I am I, I want to thank uh, Bob for uh, actually letting us uh, use this. This is actually a uh, a pre-production uh, Well, you can see the board underneath. Yeah. Wow, USB that's cool. 3 uh, 
storage device. The, uh, the cable that it comes with is, is different, obviously, uh, because they need to make sure that... You're not a you're... dumb user and trying to put an AGP card in a <laughs> PCIe graphics slot? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. You I know, know. Uh, when, when we were doing some tests with Bob, uh, we were getting about 255 megabytes per second. Uh, for what, like a on SATA a, drive? On, no, what? this is a 64. Oh, it's an SSD. Yes. Nice. Okay. So inside here is the actual circuitry for the USB 3 host device. Mm -hmm. And it's blisteringly fast. Mm. I mean, you know, you're, think about it, 255 megabytes per second real yeah. world performance. Yeah. Well, give that's, me an idea on this. So, like, I'm downloading well, your, a movie. Your or hard drive. Like well, that. That, to to compare it to uh, its you know little brother, uh, like your your standard SATA drive, uh, 7200. You know, nothing crazy, right? Well, 40 megabytes a second. Yeah, 50, something like that. Yeah. But I mean, let's think about it this way. They they've advanced the specs so far. Okay, USB 2 is 480 megabits. Mm -hmm. USB 3 is five gigabits. Yeah, that's okay. a, it's a little is, bit higher than the, Firewire. A little bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. But what, we don't put those in <laughs> laptops anymore anywhere, at least Steve Jobs doesn't. So, yeah. you know, I, I see what's happening here. Exactly. It's, I mean, and they haven't even finalized the, the, the revision, uh, you know, of this board here. Okay. So they're still working on it, but yesterday Bob showed me 255 megabytes a second. So I was pretty much blown away and I can't. Yeah. I, well, can I, I get a rate of those? Because I, I want a really fast boot up time. Uh, sure. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Get on that, all right? Okay. Nice. Right now. All right. Uh, you know one of my favorite things in life? Um, netbooks? netbooks. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I'm kind of like a little netbook core, if you will. Little Tonka toys? Well, hey, listen. Tonka <laughs> toys are becoming the, the hot new thing, all right? So I know I you gave me shit with the EPC 701, the first gen. I'm, 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 I'm a little defensive thing. about it because I love my little computers. I love your little Aussies. It's so cute. Uh, yes, yes. And, uh, you know, I've been rocking the Acer Aspire one, but Yes. Looking at uh, the Triple E again, looking at Asus, uh, this is the new T91 EPC, and this guy is itsy bitsy, just like the 701. Got a, um, it's actually got a decent sized screen here. It's um, a, I'm sorry, this is a uh, 8.9 inch screen. It's LED backlit. It's got an Atom uh, Z520 processor. It's 990 grams, which in the lower third has that converted Pound for Americans. Thing. Right, right. And um, it has the option, I love this, for, I don't understand why, a TV tuner, but GPS as well, right? So, oh, but here's the bad. kicker, right? Okay, so okay. it's still got the uh, the chiclet keyboard that you would find on <laughs> your, uh, your uh, come on, a a Asus. It's uh, chiclets. All well, right. Let's just come on <laughs> with the shift key already. Anyway, I digress. Um, Real so, men only use the left shift key. Real men use the right shift key <laughs> and whatever. But okay, right. here's where it gets cool, right? <laughs> what? Yes. You so, finally what? have your Asus. I finally do. This, no, you know what I've always wanted, right? <gasps> it comes with it's a the, stylus too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little oh. bit of a no, no, no. We're not Star Trek dorks, right? No. But do you remember like the? the there's the duty yes. roster, sir. You know, yeah. this is. It's slowly getting to finally be an in touch screen. We got a little stylus here. Um, ah, I would love to. You know, who, who needs a Kindle, right? You grab one of these, I I'm done. Oh, dude. Eh. That's... I don't know if I can get past the keyboard, but that's that's a personal problem with me you know and what? my you're large hands. Sorry. But um, <laughs> that's the way it was made. See, but you're... Right, oh, right, snobs. Don't break it. Oh, yeah. This is probably not a good idea <laughs> to break. So, hey. No. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be... Either, now, wow. You said it was going to be under 600. Yes, That's the, probably the, not with the options for the GPS no, and no, the TV it, the, tuner. The, the tablet itself is going to start at about a little less than 600 really bucks, light. and Q1, uh, so yeah, like and the, the Q1. end of March is, so. is when you, you guys can Netflix actually be do it. blowing up. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I've got one real quick thing here. Sorry if I rub my mic. This is a shuttle. <laughs> it's part of their uh, display line of uh, you know uh, show kind of things. Yeah. It's got a touchscreen. And all the yeah, all these peripherals on the side that you guys can see. External monitor out uh, mm -hmm. as well. And uh, Chris was Chris was walking by, and he said, "You know, it's it's something that I could put in my grandmother's house." Mm -hmm. And because it is touchscreen, I mean, you know, you go through and you can get you know your email on, and you know, oh, watch videos on it and there. stuff like that. So. It's it's something that you know, it, 
used correctly is really going to be able to kind of lend itself to, to, to who needs to use it. Okay. So, I mean, and yes, oh, that's it has just, a handle. That's just excellent. Yeah. Like a purse. So you could just, no, yeah, you could just, you know, walk, be a walking sign and like, huh? like, anyway, all right. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. So that's shuttle. Now, w w give me an idea on the specs wow. of the price of that because you know, it's just like a laptop. Unfortunately, they were not really forthcoming, uh, uh -huh. but uh, we will have more info. Okay. Uh, Interesting. I, I'm, I'm, you know, it's got to be less than the HP. Uh, oh, God, the, yes. Yeah. God, so, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. You see those all the time in like banks and stuff. Those itsy bitsy thin, oh, yeah. like all in one computer dealies. Yeah. And I remember the first gen of them, like coming out of like Gateway and stuff. They were just like, please. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, it, it, and apparently HP trying to push it to the corporate market. But anyway. What else do you have? I want that. You want what? That. This? Yes. Oh, you can't have it because I'm... It's cute. Yeah, well, it, it, comes in, it comes in standard and it comes in uh, toot, if you will. Um, so here, cow, uh, cow, what? Uh, what? Uh, Toki Doki is, uh, is the name of it. Toki Doki. Toki Doki, <laughs> right? Here you go. You can play I want this one. Okay. Whoa. Right. So this God. is the Fujitsu Lifebook 820. You see, that. if the EPC touchscreen dealie was uh, just a little too big for you, I mean, I understand. You know, you've got itsy bitsy fingers, and and uh, you know, space and weight is a concern. This is probably, well, it's a notebook to consider. It's not even a notebook. I don't even know if it's, it's a, a lifebook. Is it a? It's a. Lifebook. <laughs> it's a, a lifebook. lifebook. Well, it is. Yeah. It's, it's All I know oh. is I can use it as a big blackberry yeah it's, you're right you're right you could totally let them do an upside down here but you're right that is one way that you could do it <laughs> it's got an atom z 530 processor in it uh it's got a 5.6 inch wxga screen a gig of ram uh it comes with uh windows vista home or basic i think and a 60 gig hard drive um i don't know how they packed it all in there it's got uh, bluetooth and check this out gps and if that wasn't enough just That's like awesome. uh our Asus over here. Yeah, here's the... Uh, there we go. And now, now it's more like, you know, here's your duty roster. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, I'm ready. This is like an all grown up... It's you like want, a you want to know the killer? PDA. You want to know the killer? Yeah. Eight hours of battery life on that battery. Rock up, well... Four I mean, hours battery. on this. It's the protrude battery, you know? It's, but it's that's four okay. hours on a it's standard battery. It's not that battery. big. Oh, uh, well, and claimed, this is, claimed. Oh, hey, is that a... Uh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. This is this is this is the GPS mm -hmm. unit, and yeah, yeah. I want, fingerprint reader. I, want. I mean, it's like it's like all of the features. You're like, if only somebody would make a notebook that is, you know, and, and you start naming specs that are ridiculous, like the ridiculous size, mm -hmm. the yep. ridiculous uh, features. Like, I want the Bluetooth and the GPS and the touchscreen, and the it only and it has to be this small, and you know, <laughs> I still want it to be usable and operating system and all that stuff, right? Powerful, whatnot, right? So you get all that ridiculous, and well, yeah. With the ridiculous, you also get a ridiculous price tag. It is MSRP of $1,049. This is a full-fledged computer mm -hmm. that yeah, is, is smaller and probably, I mean, think about it this way. You were just talking about the E, yeah, which is yeah. bigger. The E, you don't have to type with your thumbs. I mean, my black. <laughs> I would prefer to type with my thumbs rather than on little chicklets. You're right. Well, you you're know right. What? If you're gonna go small, you might as well go all the hands. way, right? Go full bore, baby. All right. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm, I'm uh, intrigued cool. by it. I think it's very cute. I, I know it has a place for the people that have the money to throw at this kind of stuff, and yeah. you know. Uh, so if the, oh oh, and I believe it's got an Atheris chipset. So uh, oh. I haven't tried. Right. If we could get one in, maybe I'd see if I could little boot a little okay. happiness off there and see what we could do. I mean, because you could just throw that in your pocket. You could. And, and yeah. Airbase NG up there. I think that could yeah. fit in my back pocket. Yeah. But a thousand dollars. Try, I'll yeah. walk away. Dude, with one. no. When Sorry. you're when you're considering eight hundred dollars for no, no, a no. machine, no, no, screw that machine. I'm not talking about that machine. Oh, okay. That machine is twice the size of this machine. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. What is size but really that's to awesome, you? Though. But but yeah. Does size so. matter? Oh, you're asking me? Um, uh, depends. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, is that it? Are we done? I think that, well, yeah, we've yeah, got that's... one other goodie. Uh, we, we talked about um, the audio bone yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And I demoed the, um, the underwater headphones that would be perfect for someone like Paul to take a drink. And this is made by the, um, the manufacturer that makes the audio bone. So it's not the audio bone brand. This is, this is more for your security uh, type personnel. All right, so we've got your, your standard Motorola uh, uh, handset here, and um, 
and then I've got my transmitter. So say like I'm a bouncer. I mean, obviously, you, dude, you know, sorry, you know that um, in a previous life I was probably a bouncer, just oh, yeah. considering how, You're how so built I am, muscular. right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on and just go around your ear. And so they are, they, they, it's not like the jaw thing where it right. sits on your jaw. It does yeah. actually go on your, on your ears. Um, and in the back here, what we've got is a, um, is we've got Bluetooth, right? So we've got a, a multi-dongle Bluetooth adapter here, right? And this plugs into our Motorola handset, right? Well, now this is all I need to talk. This little wireless dealie. And I could probably like, if I was like James Bond, I could like pop this in my cufflinks. I guess I wouldn't really be inconspicuous with the headgear. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, if I'm bound to pop it in my cufflinks, I hold it down and there I'm talking. But where's the microphone? Whoa. Yeah. It's picking up the audio from, uh, from the vibrations in my skull. Oh, okay. Huh? How creepy is that? You got a big head. A lot of you know, reverberation going on in well, there. Well, that's just because you keep telling me every day how pretty I am, and I keep telling you how smart you are. Wow. All right, I can't uh, help but then it's science. Anyway, that's it. It's <laughs> science. So, I yeah. science. I think it's kind of neat. I mean, yeah, it's, um, you know, if you're... This isn't, this isn't like a device that is, uh, I mean, maybe I've been told... I'm not really sure if it's at market. If it is, it's just it's kind of like in the industrial arena, you know, right. doing uh, doing like security specialized and application. Yeah. Oh, kind definitely. Of thing. Uh, so I thought it was neat. I, mean, I don't that, know, that, you know what I would use it for, but I I like the technology that is the whole skull vibration things. I mean, yeah. the, the more skull vibrations, the better. I'm gonna give it. Yeah. I just noticed something. What's up? Yeah. Ah, um, fail see, bus. I didn't, I didn't want to blend yeah. into the Where's my set. ticket for you, the, the fail no. bus ticket? Hey, hey, I got enough fail <laughs> bus tickets today, all right? Well, we want to thank uh, NBC Universal. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you so much. We want to thank them for letting us use this absolutely amazing uh, set of theirs. It's incredible. And for accompanying, uh, uh, accommodating us uh, as well as Revision 3. Uh, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. And we also want to thank uh, Squarespace. Squarespace. Yes. Well, you're talking about the Twitter yes, for NBCU. Twitter does yes. have an NBC, uh, NBCU CES Twitter account, so you can follow them follow, while they're here. Follow, twi uh, follow CES uh, by NBC Universal. There you go. And uh, you can also check out Squarespace at squarespace.com. They are uh, our fine sponsor that is helping us put this on. Basically, Squarespace is a web hosting company that has an awesome twist because they have the, the most beautiful uh, front end, back end content management system daily where the back end is, is like full forward. So uh, creating a page, it's like you're in a WYSIWYG editor, but you're actually in uh, <laughs> a web page. They've got awesome templates to get you started. You get your tweaking on. You can go as nitty gritty as you want yeah. with the CSS, or you can just start clicking around and moving things around and making it to your liking. You don't have to know any code. Um, so if you are interested in getting uh, you know, that website that you've always wanted to get off the ground built, uh, their plans start at $8 a month and you can find more information at squarespace.com and if you check out with coupon code HACK5, you can save 10% off of the life of your service with them. So All we'd right. like to thank them for sponsoring this show, making this happen, and I'm a big fan of theirs because they are doing yes, he an is. excellent job Huge fan. with our, exactly. uh, our land party page. And I would also like to thank GoDaddy. With GoDaddy, you can get web hosting, SSL certificates, domain registration, pretty much anything for, for your web hosting needs or even if you're a podcaster and you want to start up a new web page. So you can use one of our promo codes, HACK1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. HACK1 is the one that I like most. It's 10% off. And, yeah. I have yeah, a great idea for a website. Right there. Yeah. Darren's Scuba Headgear Adventures. Yeah, you, you think that would be hot? Okay. You know, we also got to remind the viewers that uh, Wednesday we will have a special from CES, right? Yes. So we've been doing these live shows, but we're also doing an awesomely produced show. And I must sound amazing right now. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remind you guys to... Trust your techno lust. <laughs>